Happy New Year, Millbrook. Or well, I should say happy almost New Year as we still have a few more hours until the clock strikes midnight. I want to usher in the new year um, together with a word of scripture from Isaiah chapter 43. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. The wild animals honor me, the jackals and the owls, because I provide water in the desert and streams in the wasteland to give drink to my people, my chosen, the people I formed for myself, that they may proclaim my praise. You see, God is about to do a new thing in your life through this new year. Many of us plan on various new things we want to try in the new year. Some of us hope to um, have New Year's resolutions like learn a new language or read more books or go to the gym more often. My New Year's resolution for this year is actually um, not to try something new, but actually try to do something a little less. I'm going to try to lower my caffeine intake. And if you know how much coffee I like to drink, then you know what a big resolution and challenge that will be for me. If you're not a big New Year's resolutions person, I've never been a big New Year's resolution um, maker until this year with this big challenge. You might wanna think of a word or a phrase or a theme to focus on. Last year, coming out of the craziness that was 2020, coming into 2021, my resolution or my theme was run towards joy. I wanted to seek joy and celebrate all of the small victories with everyone. I wanted to run towards the light, run towards the joy and find celebration in my life. This year, my new um, meditation or my new theme um, that I'm gonna carry with me is be still. I feel God doing something new within me, calling me to be still in the midst of the busyness, of the bit, midst of schedules and um, church events and all sorts of things, just to be still, to focus on God's presence in my midst and to seek God out in small, quiet ways, in small, quiet moments, to just be still in 2022. Maybe you have a word or phrase that you might be meditating on or praying about this new year. And I know that it can be hard to focus on what's ahead, right? But we are told, do not dwell on the past for God is about to do something new. What would it look like for you to seek out those new things intentionally that God is blessing you with and doing in your life this year in this season right now? Perhaps you might want to commit to saying prayers every day or reading scripture or a daily devotional. Um, maybe you don't want a daily practice. Maybe you're more interested in a weekly examine or attending Sunday school more frequently or serving God in a new way in this year. There are all kinds of ways that we can focus our hearts and minds on God moving in our presence. Ways that we can intentionally seek God's presence in the new year. For many of us, 2021 and 2022 might have felt quite like the desert, the wastelands that our scripture tells us about. But nevertheless, we are told that God brings streams in the wasteland. For us to drink from, we get to drink from God's living waters poured out abundantly on us. I pray that you take time to be with God in this new year. I pray that no matter how desertish your landscape or year might feel, that you take time to drink from God's everlasting living waters. Millbrook, may God bless you this year. May you be filled with hope, with joy, and living water.